Hey guys, in the last section, last video, we installed Call Manager subscribers. So now let's try to install Call Manager. Uh, sorry, I'm in presence. So again, uh, for I'm in presence, we'll create a virtual machine here. So let's create a new virtual machine. Typical, I'll install the operating system later. Linux, Reddit, Linux 6, 64 bits. And then uh, we'll see what the host name we are going to keep. So let's see here, what is the cup's name, what we have filled in. We'll look into the DNS server. So the name is UCC IN Cups. So we'll make it as UCC IN Cups. And the location would be same as we have done it for other virtual machines. Again, for cups, we are going to put it as 110 GB and customize hardware. Here, we are going to select as bridged. And then in case of CD, DVD, we are going to select the cups ISO. Okay, so we have selected the bootable UC install cups, the modified version, and then network is bridged. And then click on close, click on finish. We have to power on the virtual machine. And uh, it is similar to the installation what we have done for the call manager, publisher, and subscribers. Uh, very few steps uh, uh, would change. Otherwise, everything is going to remain same. Okay, let's keep the media test as always. Okay, this is the error we are getting. We'll click on OK. So we have got this error uh, while installing call manager, publisher, as well as subscribers. So that's not an issue. Okay, we'll click on OK. Click on yes, click on proceed, click on no, apply patch, basic installation, continue, select the location, time zone, click on continue, no for the MTU, will not use TSCP, and yes, we are going to put the host name. And the IP address should be, okay. So the IP address should be 192.168.1. Uh, let me see, 153. Submit mask, gateway address, enable DNS, yes. 175. Administrator ID, we are going to put the same as the call manager. Organization, certificate information. So we are going to put this same what we have put for call manager. This is not the first node in the cluster. You must first configure the server on the first node before you can proceed. Also, this node must have network access to the first node. Which is which must be in service for the installation to complete successfully. Click on OK. The next phase is to verify uh, the network connectivity. So we'll click on No because we uh, don't want our installation to be halt or should be paused. So click on No. So here it is asking for the publisher whose name. So our publisher whose name is UCC IN CUCM A. And the IP address would be 192.168.1.150. This is the publisher IP address and this is the publisher host name. And the password, security password, what we have used for publisher and subscriber, it would remain same. But before this, what we have to do is we have to add this particular um, publi, uh, I'm in presence IP address into the call manager publisher. So let's do that. So we'll log in here to the call manager publisher. 
and add the I'm in presence node. So go back to the system server and then click on add. Here, select CUCM I'm in presence. Click on next and here we have to enter the FQDN of the I'm in presence node. So our I'm in presence node is UCC. incups.uccollabing.com. So let's verify UCC incups.uccollabing.com. So this is the description what we are going to put. Okay, it is not allowing end here like this. So we'll just put Cisco I'm in presence. Domain is required. Oh, okay. So here we have to put in the domain name. So here is the FQDN. So this is the FQDN of your I'm in presence. And this is the I'm in presence domain. And this is the description. Click on save. Okay, so the presence must have been headed by now. Let's wait for the page to refresh fully. In the meanwhile, what we can do is we can proceed with this. Click on OK. Do you want to configure SMTP? Say no. Click on OK to, for the installation to complete. Let's verify our I'm in presence configuration here. Uh, it seems the page is loading slow, so I'll click on back here and see if the information are correctly assigned. Yeah, so UCC IN CUPS dot and UC collabing.com is the presence domain and description is this. So currently we have four uh, nodes information here. These are the call manager, publisher, subscribers, as well as I'm in presence. So as we see, the installation is happening uh, for the I'm in presence. So what we can do is in the meanwhile, we'll activate uh, the call manager services on the public subscribers. So what we'll do is we'll log into the serviceability page and enable the services on the call manager tools service activation so we have already done for the call manager publisher so let's activate it for the subscriber let's enable call managers uh, let's enable all the services because uh, this is our lab environment so we don't have to worry about any of the services to be activated or there would not be much load uh, on the server so it, it will not matter to us but in case of production you have to activate like a uh, uh, few services on few servers because you have to make sure like you are not giving enough load or much load on the server for example one server can act as a tftp one server can act as a call manager server so likewise you can have multiple server acting multiple services so this can take up to a minute so likewise what i'll do is i'll do it for uh, the subscriber c as well uh, one thing to note is i wanted to show you uh, but i have already activated the services on the subscriber b but i'll show you something which is very important, uh, which you may wonder why this particular server is not showing up in the call manager group. While the service is being activated. So let me show you here something. So I'll log into this call manager group. 
click on find if you click on default here you will see only um, uh, I'm in A and I'm in presence B but you will not see the third subscriber the reason you don't see third subscriber is because you have not activated the call manager service on that particular sub subscriber there is a reason you're not seeing that information here. So once we activate the service on the call manager server C, so that server will come appear here. Okay, so all the services are activated. So let's activate in the service C as well. So if you notice right now, this group has only A and B, but once the services are activated, so you will see like the third server C is also appearing in this list. Yes, you see here, C is also appearing right now because we have activated the services. So it'll take a minute time to activate the service. So what I'll do is uh, I'll pause the video for now because I'm in presence installation is going on at this moment. So once the installation is completed, then we'll verify the uh, installation process and see the database replication is up and running fine. Okay, so the installation has been completed. So what we are going to do is uh, we are trying, uh, we are going to log into the uh, cup server and see if it is accessible. So let's log in. Okay, so we'll log into the cup server here. We'll click on this link and then administrator. And then, yes, we are able to log in. So let's enable all the required services. So by default, we are enabling all the services. We are not looking for any specific service. So we'll go to service activation and then select cups from here. And then check all services and click on save. So it'll take around a minute time for the services to be activated. Okay, so all the services has been activated. So we have successfully installed CUPS in our system. So the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to install Unity Connection and post that we are going to install uh, Contact Center. Uh, let's hold this video for now. Uh, see you in the next video. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.